here's a problem that's a little bit more complicated. So again, we have two variables, right? We have X and Z. Um, and the answer choices they're giving us are kind of just kind of equations, right? Um, so let's make things more concrete. Why don't we make that a real number? Well, let's say 10. Um, and then how about for Z? It says each additional pair of pants the customer buys costs Z dollars less than the first. So this is a discount, right? Z refers to the discount. So what should we make Z? Um, we can make Z2. Z2, okay, so Z equals two. Um, each pair of pants costs $10, the first pair. And then after that, um, each pair of pants additionally will cost how much? Eight. Eight dollars, right? So x x minus z is equal to eight. Um, so yeah, things are much more concrete now. So let's see if we can solve this problem. So which of the following represents the customer's cost in dollars for n pants during the sale? So let's say if n is two. Right? So essentially, what we're trying to do is saying which of the following represents the customer's cost in dollars for n pants bought during the sale. So if we bought two pants, what would be the final cost? Um, $18. It would be 18, right. So essentially if 18 is the bullseye number, um, then we're just trying to find which of these values um, uh, of these choices gives us 18 when we plug in the variables, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's just try out A since it's the first one, right? So X, we had 10, mm -hmm. that's 10 plus an N minus one. We had only two pairs of pants, so N was two, and so it's two minus one. Uh, let's see if we can just do this out here below. So at 10 plus two minus one times X minus Z, X was 10 minus Z was two. Right. <clears throat> so what is that? What does that lead to? That would be 10 plus one times eight. So 10 plus eight, which is 18. 18. So that's the right answer. What you want to do is you want to make sure, you know, oftentimes you don't choose the same kind of number for variables. Um, so it doesn't confuse you. One thing as well is that, you know, you want to make sure that you are consistent with your numbers. If you chose X for 10, make sure that you know that X was 10, right? You don't, you don't forget that. Or if Z was two, make sure that you always plug in two for Z. And same goes for N. You wanna make sure that your, your plug-in values are consistent all throughout.